Hello, everybody. So the question was on capping an object. Uh, this is a single surface that's joined up with itself. The other two edges on the top and bottom are planar. And that is, of course, easy to deal with. We just call cap. And if I were to take this cap just for a second, and we'll call untrim on the edge, you can see that what it did was create a planar surface and then use this surface to create a cutting line, trim that off, and then join it all together. And now it's a closed object. If this edge is not planar, it can't just use a simple planar surface in order to create that edge. Here is the problem surface. And as you can see, there's, there's curvature that takes this out of being a planar surface. So the easiest thing to do is call a command called split edge. And for this surface, the edge is already split here because that's the same. It's a single surface wrapped around. So we want to go to the other side, right on the midpoint, and click right there. And now it's split. If I control shift click on the edge, I can see that it's in two pieces versus this one is still a single edge. So I'm going to do split edge again on the bottom. And again, going to that midpoint because we're halfway around from where the seam lines up. And then now we've got that split into two. And I can click that side and I can click that side. Um, to undo that, you just call merge edge and grab that, tell it OK. And now when I click on it, it's a single edge again. Sometimes you'll need that to be a single edge for, for other commands. But what we're going to do for this is just call blend surf. I'm going to grab the make sure auto chain is off, grab the first edge for the first side, second edge for the second side. And then it's going to want to uh, default to curvature. So if you wanted a nice, um, you know, if this was a prong cap and you wanted to make it a nice little dome, you can do that. But we just want to cap it. So we're just going to say planar. And what that's going to do, or positional, um, and what that's going to do is just put a little surface right there, tell it OK. And then we can join those two together, uh, join. And now we have a nice cap. If I merge these two back together, if I try to do that with a single edge, uh, blend surface wants to blend two things together. So it's not going to work. You've got to split it, uh, split edge, find that midpoint. That'll give you the cleanest surface. And then do your, then do your, uh, blend surf. Side one, side two. And it's going to remember I just did position, tell it OK, join it all up, and there you go, two watertight objects.